pulling and, down of strongholds. And pulled down. You say, listen, Go ahead, listen, brothers. you may take a gun and make that person get their hands off of you. Right. But you can't take a gun mm -hmm. and get the devil off of you. No, you right. can't. No, no. Huh? No, no. See why the person lets you all go physically, mm -hmm. but the devil still got you That's spiritually. It. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's Amen. Amen. Glory to God. For the weapons of our warfare, the weapon of our warfare are not, not carnal, but mighty through God. And what does it do? To the pulling down of strongholds. Pull down the strongholds. Casting down imagination. This is very important. Because many of you blind leaders of the blind who don't understand Armageddon, you actually think the way to perform or ready to get ready for Armageddon is get your followers packing a bunch of artillery. That's right. Many blind religious right. leaders right. got their followers packing guns. That's right. 30 years, mm -hmm. buying surplus military hardware. Yeah. yeah. What if God plainly says For the weapons the of, weapon our, of warfare our warfare are not carnal Not carnal But yeah. mighty through God My God you need the spirit of God To break down that carnal mind That's right That's right Because you're constantly at war with yourself Amen Brother Paul says I see another law yeah. In my members That's right War against the law of my mind That's right that's right. Do you hear? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Not carnal. But mighty through God. How does it work? To the pulling down of strongholds. Pull down strongholds. Casting down imagination. Yeah, casting down imagination. And every and high thing. Every high thing. That exalteth yeah. itself. That built itself up. Against the knowledge of God. You see, that's what happened. These fellas get all these little degrees behind your little belt. And now yeah. you want to exalt yourself and challenge God's knowledge. That's right. That's why we've been telling you for years. Seminary school don't make preachers. No, no. Theology ain't never made a preacher. Amen. It takes God to make a preacher. That's right. So don't don't be impressed with no man no. because he's called doctor. That's right. You find a lot of preachers always address one another. Hey, doc, doctor, doctor, doctor what's wrong with being called brother? That's right. Amen. As right. good as being called doctor, you can't perform biblical surgery. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. You gotta cut the scriptures right. Oh yes. They call rightly dividing the word of truth. That's right. That's it. Glory to right. God. What is it? Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. What is it? And bringing into captivity every thought, every thought. to the obedience of Christ. So you know, it is not justifiable no. for no preacher no. to carry a gun. No, no. Not under the armrest of his car. No. Not in the glove compartment of his car. Mm -hmm. He gonna use it as a weapon. Uh, oh, I gotta protect my family. Then when you kill someone, now you broke another law. That's right. Thou shalt not kill. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, what's wrong if I got a gun and go hunting? Well, be sure you're hunting. Right. That's right. Nimrod was a hunter. That's right. Wasn't it? That's right. Yes, Nimrod was a hunter. Amen. Uh, and so be sure that you're hunting sure. to eat. That's right. Not hunting some man or some woman that the wronged you. That's, That's true. Right. That's right. Amen. Uh, you listen to the old man. Amen. Amen. All right, next letter. Come All on. All right, this letter says, uh, Pastor Jennings, for some time now, I've been watching your Sunday night program. All right. I do enjoy watching you, Pastor Jennings. Indeed, I enjoy listening to you as well, learning the Bible, and learning the Bible from you. My only concern is that you did preach some weeks ago that we should not read the Bible. Surely people like you are inspired by God to interpret the Bible, but I don't know why you preach that it's wrong to read the Bible. I thought it was written that we must search the Scriptures. How do you search the scriptures if we don't read the Bible? Must the truth come only from my pastor? Thank you for your understanding. First and foremost, you probably misunderstand me. I That's never so. preach don't read the Bible. No. Because the Bible says give attentive to reading. reading. But we believe in putting things in the right order. Right. Reading is good. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says this, in mm -hmm. all thine getting, get, understanding. get a understanding. That's right. right. So what I did say is this, mm -hmm. you can read all you want. Mm -hmm. But reading don't help you if you don't understand. That's right. In let, Acts. Me, let, let me show you this in the Bible. In Acts chapter 8. Now we're going to read the Bible. That's right. We're going to read it. That's okay. right. Huh? Amen. Amen. Uh, listen at this. Acts chapter 8 and at verse 30. We don't stop nobody from reading. You can read all you want. Yeah. But if you don't understand what you're reading, you ain't helping yourself none. That's right. Come on, son. Acts chapter 8 and at verse 30. Listen. And Philip ran thither to him. Now here you had Philip the evangelist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was a eunuch mm -hmm. from Ethiopia right, in charge of the queen's treasure, That's right. Candace. That's right. And uh, this official, mm -hmm. this treasurer, Amen. was reading and sitting in his chariot read Isaiah the prophet. 
He was doing what billions are doing today. That's right. Listen. Was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. He read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip. Then the spirit said to Philip. Go near and join thyself to this chariot. Philip, somebody's doing something. <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. God, they're doing something. That's right. They don't know what to do. And they, they're not going to know what to do afterward. Amen. You, you, you better draw yourself nigh to them. And Philip ran to the two. What? Philip ran to the two. Wow, hands. Philip knew. Glory to God. Uh, they're reading something. And they're reading the thoughts of God. That's right. And God don't want them to be misled. That's right. And he had to run to them. That's right. But notice who told him to run. The Spirit said unto Philip. The Spirit. Philip. That's right. The Bible says the body without the spirit yeah. is dead. Yeah. 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 Amen. Before you go run into somebody, trying to explain the scriptures, right. be sure you're spiritually inclined first. That's yeah. right. If you're not spiritually inclined first, yeah. don't you try to interpret yeah. what you don't understand. That's right. Even if you're a preacher, Amen. don't try to dabble in a subject Amen. you can't understand. That's right. Submit Amen. yourself go to ahead. teaching. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. God, if you don't understand, submit yourself That's and be taught. Right. That's right. That's right. Why get up and try to deal with the subject to look prestigious? That's Amen. Right. And then the only thing that come out of your mouth is folly. That's right. And ignorance. That's right. If you don't know, tell the fool. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get back to you. That's right. That's right. There ain't no shame. Amen. Amen. My God, when the king came to Daniel That's right. and told him his dream. That's right. It is written how Daniel was puzzled That's right. for one hour. That's true. He didn't answer him immediately. That's right. He didn't know it. That's right. He had to wait. Thank God in the book of Zechariah, when the two olive trees yes. appeared to Zechariah, Amen. the angel asked, What you know what are these? What he told him, I, I don't know. That's right. That's right. He was a prophet. I don't know. That's right. That had to be revealed to him. That's right. Don't be hasty to utter anything before the Lord. That's right. Even Zechariah asked the angel, what are? What are these? These two olive trees. What are these? That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, son. And Philip ran to the two. He ran to the two. And heard him read the prophet Isaiah. He heard him reading something here. And said, understandest thou what thou readest? That's all I'm saying. That's it. You can read all you want. That's right. I'm asking you the same question. Understand. Do you thou understand what, what you read? Right. And he said. Now, now, what did the eunuch say? How can I except some man should guide That's me? That's all I'm saying. That's yes. right. Out of here, man. Got to have a preacher that guides you. That's man. right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Gotta have an anointed God taught, God made, God called, God given preacher. Amen. Who know how to navigate through the scriptures. Yes, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. How to navigate through the Bible. Amen. Don't need no help from theology. No. He don't pre plan no message. Oh, no. Jesus told him, don't premeditate. Don't premeditate. At the same hour. Amen. And it be given to you what to say. That's right. In fact, Jesus said, don't even give it thought. That's right. Don't take no thought. No thought. What was he teaching his preachers? Rely on me. That's right. You're an apostle. You're writing out a sermon. No. You're not an apostle. No. Mm, you're not an apostle. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not an apostle. No way. God told his apostles, take no thought. No thought. And he also said, take no script. No script. That's so right. why you're writing a sermon Amen. and putting a text on it. That's right. You're not an apostle. Oh, when no. When you're an apostle, you never plan. That's right. When you're an apostle, God gives you what the people need all the time. All the time. Amen. Hey! Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Wonderful, sir. Go ahead. Man. Hallelujah. When you find yourself planning Go ahead, and preparing a message oh, no. just one time, one time, you're not an apostle. That's right. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. God no. teaches his apostle. That's right. And let him know what the people got to have. Amen. 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 He don't worry about getting theology degrees. No. He'll be like Peter and John. Mm -hmm. When they perceived that they was ignorant, the unlearned man, they marvel. That's right. Amen. That they've been with Jesus. That's it. I never took a Bible course since I've been born. Wonderful. But I've been with Jesus. That's right. I've been with him then. That's right. And I'm with him now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Go ahead. Wonderful God. And I'm determined to stay with him. That's right. All I know. Go ahead. I got it from God. Amen. 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 
all I know. I credit all my knowledge to God. To God. That's right. I, come here. I credit all my revelation That's right. to God. Amen. I credit my God-given ability yes. to split the atom of the scriptures Go ahead, and show you how the molecules work in there. Go ahead. I credit God. That's it. Don't have no degrees at all. At all. Never been in seminary school in my life. That's right. My God, if I enrolled in a seminary school, we'll turn that stuff upside down. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's Why? Right. Because you can't be of God and be in seminary school and hear lies and be comfortable. No way. You'll be like Paul That's right. when he went down to Athens That's right. among Greece. That's the right. Bible said his spirit was stirred. Stirred up in Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, brother. Glory hey. to God when you're a man of God Hallelujah. and you expose the lies and arouse your spirit. Hallelujah. You got to cry out. That's right. You got to declare God's word. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to do it. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Anytime you claim you're a man of God yes. and you bargain yes. and shut your mouth yes. just to go along with, oh. you're a false prophet and a deceiver. That's right. Amen. That's right. Holy Ghost in you yeah. make you uncomfortable. That's right. You can't rest. No, no. Spirit is stirred. Spirit up. Spirit up. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. When the apostles were thrown in prison, the angel of the Lord came in freedom and told them, Go in the temple. That's right. And tell the people all the words of this life. This is after the government of that time told them, Did we not command you? That's right. Not to preach in that name. That name. When you got the thing in you, they can't help yourself. That's right. That's what Jesus was talking. That's when he said it's like rivers. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Of living water. Go ahead. Stuff got to spring up. That's right. Got to spring up. That's right. And overflow. Hallelujah. 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 What did he say? Understandest thou what thou readest? That's all I'm saying. Amen. It's nothing wrong with reading the Bible. No. But you better be able to understand what thou read. What you read. And he said, and if you don't understand what you read, how can then I? reading is no good. That's Amen. right. And he asked him, Do you understand what you read? Amen. And the eunuch said, How can I accept a man guide me? God. You gotta have a man that give you a guided tour. Amen. That's right. From Genesis to Revelation. That's right. Why? Because all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. That's so right. So the same God that inspired a book gotta get a man to That's guide it. you through the book That's so right. he can get you to God. Then Amen. Philip opened his Amen. mouth. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture. And did what? And preached. Unto him, Jesus. Holy. Go ahead. Old Testament. Hallelujah. Old Testament. He preached Jesus. Jesus. And there was no New Testament. That's no, it right. wasn't. Huh? That's, right. That's right. There was no New Testament. That's right. That's right. There was no New Testament. No, it wasn't. That's it. None. None. He was reading from the book of Isaiah. That's right. And Philip went right in there. At the same and scripture. And at the same scripture. And preached unto him Jesus. He went to Isaiah Go ahead. and preached Jesus. Jesus. Why? Philip knew who was the prophet talking about. That's right. You understand? That's right. There was no New Testament then. That's no, it right. wasn't. That let you know Jesus Go ahead. was here Go ahead. before he was born. That's right. That's and right. Go ahead. Jesus Go ahead. Go ahead. was here. Hallelujah. Before that's right, he was born. That's right. Who you talking about? The inner man. That's, that's right. right. That made the world. Okay. He made the outer man. Okay. Okay. Then got in him. Right. Then the outer man yeah. took on his name Hallelujah. and took on his title. Okay. 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 That's it. Okay. Wonderful, sir. Good when you Wonderful, when you preach Jesus Christ as God, Go ahead. and you start that teaching off at Mary carrying a baby, right. you don't know what you're talking. That's right. God was here. That's right. Before Mary was born. Amen. Amen. Everlasting, sir. God never was 12. No, no. God never was 30. That's right. Did you know Christ was in the wilderness? That's right. That rock. That's right. That, that, that was Christ. Christ. That was Christ. That was Christ. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, brother. But it wasn't no flesh and blood. No. It was no man. No, no. It was the spirit of the living God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Excellent. And when the spirit stopped that David house Go ahead, and made a man child, Go ahead. God had a dirty job. Uh, yes, he, he couldn't do it the way he was That's right. because it took blood to be shed. That's right. God had no blood because the nature of God is perpetual. Go ahead. The nature of God is eternal. That's right. The nature of God is everlasting. That's right. The nature of God is spirit. That's right. So spirit made a child. Yes. Got in the child. That's right. And took him on. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Then the child grew. That's right. God did not grow. That's right. The child grew in wisdom and in knowledge. That's right. God don't grow in wisdom. God is wisdom. That's right. God don't grow in knowledge. God is knowledge. Go ahead. God have all understanding. Go ahead. Amen. That's good preaching. There's a separation That's right. between the nature That's of the Son of Man right. and the nature God. of God. That's right. Wonderful Mary ain't never been Godmother no. No, and no. never will. Never That's will. right. Oh yeah, reading is good. Reading is good. That's right. Understanding what you read is better. That's because right. Because then and only then you can obey it. That's, That's right. right. All right, Dan the man. Come on, son. All right. <laughs> Everybody all right? Amen. Come on. This letter says, I would like to know if, make, if taking a wife who's a Jehovah Witness would be a good idea. I met her first and we spent some time together going out at beaches and dates. However, on our fourth date, when I decided to take the next step, she told me she was a Jehovah Witness. I was surprised because I assumed she was a Christian. I really loved her, but what should I do now? Hmm. Would, you call, would this cause conflict in our beliefs and relationships? I really, really need to know. You really, really need to know. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What of God says? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 14. Follow me. Give chapter and verse again to the viewer. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and begin at verse 14. Listen good. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelief. Do you hear? Amen. Yes, it's going to create a problem. Oh, yes. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe it's one God. They believe it's two. That's right. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The Jehovah Witnesses don't believe in speaking in tongue. Amen. The Jehovah Witnesses don't believe in divine healing. That's right. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that heaven and earth going to pass away. Right. They blind to the scripture that says the earth abideth forever. Forever. And they think that means that this earth is going to be here eternally right. because they lack the understanding of what the word forever means. That's right. Forever is an indefinite period of time mm -hmm. in which a certain thing would be done. Because mm -hmm. the Bible says heaven and earth mm -hmm. shall pass away, pass away with a great noise right. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Mm -hmm. So the Bible when it says heaven or rather earth abide forever that's an indefinite period of time because right. the book says he gonna create a new heaven that's right and a new earth, new earth. the old gonna pass away, pass away. and Isaiah said it won't even come to mind that's right so uh, yes it's gonna create a problem mm -hmm. if you believe in one God how you gonna marry someone believing too amen if you believe in what Jesus said you must be born of the water and of the spirit why are you gonna marry someone who don't even believe in the water or the spirit that's right you got to love God more than you love some man that's and right. you got to love God more than you love some woman. Amen. God first. Amen. It is written, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness right. and all things. That's right. Shall we add it unto you? That's right. Amen. Be not because you know who's going to be caught in the middle? The children. Yeah. That's it. You may marry someone that's a Buddhist. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to have your children bowing down to some statue. Right. Some image. That's right. Come on. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yes. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? Do you hear that? This is God talking. What fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? It's a conflict. That's right. I want you preachers to hear this because I like to know that. Amen. What fellowship has... How in the world you believe in holiness, but yet a Baptist man is preaching for you? That's true. That's, that's true. true. That's true. What fellowship? That's right, sir. Amen. Amen. Here you know this man believe in remarriage and divorce. You know he do it. Right. You know he believe in it. Right. And he got a second wife. Mm -hmm. You don't believe in it. Why he's in your pulpit. That's right. That's true. How can you to What fellowship? Why he's up there preaching. Amen. How is it? If you want to walk up to the pulpit and let him sit down, fine. fine. But why are you trying to get him to deliver God's word? That's right. You know a man is a homosexual? Amen. Why he's up preaching? That's right. You know a man is a racist bigot? Amen. Why he up preaching? That's right. You know he living together and not married. Amen. Why are you ordaining him? Right. You know he making babies all around America? That's it, sir. Why are you ordaining him? That's right. What fellowship has righteousness Glory. with unrighteousness? You see why they hate the truth of God? Uh, Amen. The truth of God strips it down clean. That's right. That's right. They want them licensed so they can get that money. Oh, yeah. And then get that title. That I'm right. district elder. Yes. I'm diocese bishop. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's it. Are you listening? Yeah. What fellowship has... I'm, I'm glad I'm not a title happy man. No. Man, I'm satisfied being called Brother Jennings 
Oh, that's just simply Gina. That's right. In fact, many of the folk call me PJ. <laughs> and I ain't call, I, 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 I'm not caught up in titles. Right. If, if a person don't say, well, Apostle Gina, that, 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 that don't bother me. No. Thank God I say like Paul, I am what I am. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. So when men get caught up in titles so much, you can't even call them a brother. A brother. Uh-uh, you need to humble yourself that's down. It. Oh, yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on, son. What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what else? And what communion hath light with darkness? Do, that's what we've been preaching. What Do, communion hath yeah. light what with communion darkness? What communion hath light with darkness? And what concord what hath Christ concord with hath Christ Belial? Christ with Baal? Or what yeah. part hath he that believeth? With what? With an infidel. Listen, if one is an unbeliever and you are a believer, y'all gonna have conflict. Yeah. Oh, yes. Y'all gonna have conflict. That's right. Y'all gonna have conflict. And what agreement? What hath, agreement? At the temple of God. At the temple of God. With idols. All right. If you believe in idols and want me to preach for you, I preach. Right. But you ain't preaching here. That's right. That's right. Why? God gave me a charge. Go ye in all the world. Right. We'll come there and then preach and tear up your idol. That's right. But you ain't gonna come here and tell the people it's all right to have an idol. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hmm? What agreement hath the what temple, of God, the with temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living ye God. Ye are the temple of the living God. As God had said, what? I will dwell in them and walk in them. Okay. How can two walk together? Except they, they agree. Except they agree. That's right. Come out from among them. No, stay there. Come out from among stay them. Stay there. Come out from among stay them. Stay there. Come out from among them. Do you them. hear this? Wherefore, come, Do you hear this? 2 Corinthians 6 and at verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. And do what? And be ye separate, saith the Lord. Separate. Do what? Be ye, come out from among them. This is the problem with churches. That's right. You are afraid of being separate. That's right. From That's right. other churches that won't stand for the word. Amen. Because you got so-called friends that go there. Mm -hmm. And family members that go there. Right. And you're worrying about what they're going to think about you. That's right. Or how you will offend them. Uh -huh. yeah. Preachers Amen. around America now is upset with me because they want me to uh, uh, come to have fellowship services. With yeah. three God men and women preachers and That's homosexuality, right. and right. you can have a concubine, and I wouldn't belittle myself. That's right. And stoop that low. That's right. No My Lord. Even the Lord asks, "Who will lift up a standard for me?" That's right. Amen. You got to lift it up. Go ahead. Yeah. If people threaten you, lift it up. That's right. If they hate you and walk out on you, lift it up. That's right. Are uh, you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Wherefore, come out from among them. No, go among them. Come out from among them. Go among them. Come out from among them. And do what? And be ye separate. Who said it? Say it the Lord. Say it, Pastor Janet. Say it the Lord. Say it, Pastor Janet. Say it the Lord. The Lord is the boss. That's right. All right, come on, Dan. Other lesson. Be quick. Dear Pastor Janet, you pointed out that although Joseph and Mary were only a spouse that is engaged, they were still being described as husband and wife. And when Joseph found that she was with child, he was willing to put her away at first because he believed that she had fornicated All right. with another outside of their union. Yeah, we'll see where you're going with this. Come on. <laughs> My question is, therefore, in relationship, it, in relation to understanding mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. say I had a girlfriend. Yeah, let's say that. And I had decided to give her a ring. Mm -hmm. I became a spouse to her. Mm -hmm. In the biblical context, as you had identified, we would be husband and wife, technically, before we said, quote, unquote, I do. Hmm. And if we genuinely intend to get married at a specific date, if we were to have sexual intercourse before the day we said, quote, unquote, I do, would it be deemed as premarital fornication? Or would it be seen as marital sex between a loving couple? What say you? <laughs> my dear beloved brother <laughs> let me tell you something man uh -huh. if having sex before marriage was justifiable in the eyes of God it wouldn't be no married man uh, no, no. It was, am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. That's really the hardcore truth of it. That's the truth. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Mary and Joseph had the title wife. Right. That's right. Had the, Mary had the title wife. Joseph had the title husband. Husband. Not that they actually was married. Right. To better understand it. 
before Eve's body was formed, she was called Adam. That's, That's right. Take your time, folks. Go ahead. <laughs> That's it. Hey! That's right. Wonderful. She was called Adam. Adam. That's it, sir. Let me show you that in the book of Genesis. In Genesis chapter 5 and at verse 1. Listen. This is the book of the generations of Adam. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created Notice man. Notice the language of the book. In the day that God created what man. What do you mean? The same day that God created him. In the likeness of God made he him. In the day that he made Adam. In his likeness and in his image. Male and female. Male and female. Created he them. He created them. And blessed them. And blessed them. And called their name. And called their name. Adam. In the day. In the day. They were created. That's it. That's right. That's it. So when God just made Adam. Mm -hmm. Eve was in there. Right. That's how he took her out. That's right. But she wasn't called Eve. Right. No. She was called Adam. Adam. Establishing the fact back then, mm -hmm. when you do marry, mm -hmm. you take on the name yes. of the one you marry right. and you're one. Go ahead, brother. Adam was first form, it's written, yeah. then. Yeah. 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 Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Now go back to where you were. Let's, let, let's get let's straighten this gentleman out mm -hmm. and reference the fornication mm -hmm. and the book of First Corinthians, First if you Corinthians will, 7 chapter seven, begin at verse one. At Amen. verse one, let's put things in order. Now concerning the things, that I don't want no one get happy at the at the television waving your hands up. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring them back down. Come on now. Now Go concerning ahead. the things whereof ye wrote unto me, yes, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Wait a minute. He didn't say have sex before you marry. No. He didn't say that. It is good for Joseph man. and Mary just had the title. Just the title. One was called husband. One was called wife. Right. And they and it's written before, before. before. they came yeah. together. That's right. Before. before. Now you asking me, can you come together mm -hmm. before marriage? Oh, no. No. Now concerning That's the problem the now. Right. 12 and 13 and 14, 15 year old girls pregnant. That's right. 16 year old girls, five, six, seven, eight children, no husband. That's right. Lazy bums knocking up every girl they can find. Amen. Eight, nine, 10, 11 children. Amen. Right. And won't support and take care of none of them. That's right. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. 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 Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You having sex? With some man that ain't your husband. Mm -hmm. And think it justified because you going to marry him? No. 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 You're just committing fornication. That's right. Real quick. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. All right, fella, don't you touch her. She ain't your wife. You ain't married her yet. I don't care if you love her so much. Every time you walk down the street, fire hydrants explode. That's, That's right. right sir. That's right, sir. Every Brinks truck tires just flat. 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 Yeah. It's flat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no. Matter, what the Holy Book said? It is good for a man not to touch a woman. God said that, not Paul. That's right. That's right. Because ain't no man gonna say that. No. no. Only God thinks that way. That's right. Man said it's good to touch her. Amen. God said no, it's good not to touch her. Not to touch. And I want to tell you, if you do touch her, these are the guidelines I'm giving you. Nevertheless, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. You see that? What you're writing me about, you're not avoiding it. That's right. You're not avoiding it. Amen. Listen. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. What? Let every man have his own wife. And what else? And let every woman have her own husband. That settles that argument. No. For this is the will of God. Who is it? This is the will of God. My writer, this is God's will. That Even your sanctification. And, and for your salvation and for your protection. That ye should abstain. That you should keep away. From fornication. That's plain. That's right. God wants you to get married. Mm -hmm. You young people that are watching us around the world. Right. I can never admonish you or encourage you enough. Mm -hmm. If you are virgin, stay that way. That's right. Amen. Wonderful. That's right. You Wonderful. stop letting these boys. Wonderful. Wonderful. Stop letting your body be a bus stop. Amen. A sperm bank. Go ahead. For a bunch of two-legged dirty dogs who deposit their trash in you. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, Pops. Stop That's thinking it. a man love you because he lay with you. Right. Amen. You don't love you. Well, you know, he promised to marry me. You keep giving it up here and think about marrying you. No. Huh? Amen. Take God, do you get what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, come on, Dan. 
No, the last one. Now get the one before that. Let's get the, uh, the one, the two before that. The last one on the debate issues of the Trinitarian, uh, and this will be the last one. And we'll get three more, or rather that's it. Come on, let's get that out. We got international mail too. Yep. Let's get the debate situations, because I want to know where that organization is from. Not that one. That's the very last one. So look them over real good. He's dealing with Trinity. I got two debates from two different men mm -hmm. of the Trinity belief to challenging Pastor Jennings to an open or private debate. No, mm -hmm. we ain't having a private nothing. <laughs> We're going to have a brawl for it all and a blast from the past. Amen. Amen. No, no, we ain't going to have no private debate. Yes, I preach there's one God. One. Yes, I preach there is no other God but him. That's right. There never was one, never was but one God and never will be. That's right. All right, listen quick. This person says, out there, Pastor Jennings, I am a deacon in my local church in the Philadelphia area. No, you ain't. I have heard your false teaching. <laughs> you heard what? I have heard your false teaching. Oh, that sounds so encouraging. Against the Trinity. Yes, I do I, preach against the Trinity. And against salvation by grace alone. Yeah, and I know. Listen, grace just simply being mercy. That's how I got saved. By mercy. Amen. Yes, it was mercy alone that caused me to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And mercy filled me with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. Mercy did it. Amen. Amen. Don't you hear Paul say it? Right. Not by works of righteousness that we have done, That's but by his mercy, he saved us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, we believe in mercy. Oh, yes. That's why God has blessed me to preach so hard, That's right. so tough, yes. and so firm. Mm -hmm. Though it take God, mercy got me doing it. That's, That's right. right. Come on, son. I have heard your false teachings against the Trinity. Yes. And against salvation by grace alone. Uh -huh. I have sent you two letters in the past. All right. Outlining why I believe your positions are wrong. I'm requesting an opportunity to debate these issues with you, either in public or in private. Well, I tell you what you do. You see the telecast. You see our website and our email address. You email me again. Bless God and you. We'll give it to our media director, man, Dan the Man Stasiak, and he'll get back in contact with you. We'll set up at the time and the place for your funeral. All right, next letter. <laughs> That's right. We'll do that. Yes, we'll do that. Now let's put everything on the table. If you're a pastor yeah. and I prove to you there's one God, you got to surrender your church ahead, and all the followers go and you got to repent on television go and go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and seek God for the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. Put up Amen. or shut up. That's right. Put up or shut up. And you can bring any Trinitarian with you and regardless of what degree they have, you can bring them. Amen. Bring them. My God, I'm just like my brother Elijah. That's if right. God be God, That's serve right. him. That's right. Man. Let Baal prophets be called. That's right. The, the altar is already built. That's right. oh, yes. The wood is already in Amen. place. Oh, yes. And fire will come from God. Uh, that's right. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yes, we preach firmly Amen. that never was three gods. No. Never. Three distinct personalities in the Godhead. Yeah, Listen, don't you know when someone have multi personalities, they're they're schizophrenic. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're crazy. Crazy. You're making God crazy. That's yeah. right. Someone said, "Well, it's three in one: Father, Son, Holy Ghost." Wait a minute, he's more than that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, more than that. Too. He's Father. He's Healer. Yeah. He's Lily of the Valley. That's right. He's Rose of Sharon. That's right. He's that I am. That's right. Huh? Amen. He was in the presence of the cloud by day That's right. and fire yeah. by night. That's right. The prophet called him a little finger yeah. and said he shall be thick of them, my father loins. That's right. He's called the branch. Amen. He's called the husband man. That's right. That's right. I make you lick it up. I make you lick up your tune. When the smoke clear, one will be standing. That's right. All right, let's skip the last letter so I can get busy and get up the way. Let's skip that one and get up the way because my clock is ticking. Come on. This person says it's from uh, Bishop McClendon. Uh, Pastor Jennings, I'd like you to stop talking about preachers on the Word and on, and on TBN. Bishop McClendon is a member of the Full Gospel Baptist Organization in which Paul Morton is our presiding bishop. Mm. I don't think he will be happy about your Truth of God program. Paul Morton. <laughs> we are demanding that you stop preaching harsh words. <laughs> My Lord. We are demanding. De uh, demand? They are demanding. My Lord. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> They're demanding? They are demanding. Come on. We are demanding that you stop preaching harsh words about our great pastors throughout this country. And our presiding bishop and Bishop McClendon will have a word with you. 
We would like for you to fellowship with us and become a true holiness preacher. You're not a holiness preacher. No. I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you get McCulling and Morton? Right. Tag team up. That's right. That's it. Amen. Let's have a tag team. That's Amen. right. McCullen and Morton. Right. Amen. And God and I. That's right. We are praying God word. That's right. Amen. Amen. I take the full gospel entire organization. Yes, sir. And I make you lick up every lie you preach. That's right. If you think I'm bluffing, call my bluff. Amen. You believe you don't have to be baptized. Right. Paul Morton denounced the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That proves he's nothing but a sinner in the pulpit. That's all. That's Tell right. Morton, come on. Right. You don't find me running. So to demand me to do anything, well, I get my demand and my command from one. That's right. And I have a command that preach the gospel to every creature. That's it. So I tell you what you do. Don't you write me. If Amen. they want to have a word with me, I'm easy to be fine. Amen. Glory to God. I, I cancel a trip anywhere in the world so they can have a word with me face to face. Right. You, I, am believe, I take the word of God by God's help. Not only will I do it to Morton, we'll do it to the world. That's right. Yeah, let's close out in the first chapter of the book of Galatia. Mm -hmm. Let's get Brother Paul. Amen. Born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia. Mm -hmm. Set on the feet of God and Millie who are taught according to the perfect yeah. manner of the law. Go ahead. And here Paul come along on being a Pharisee mm -hmm. uh, and touching the law. He mm -hmm. was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. That's right. Isn't that what Brother Paul said in Galatians chapter 1, begin at verse 9. At verse 9, as, as we have said before. Begin at verse 6. At verse 6. I marvel. I marvel. That you are so soon removed from him. Here you are a sinner and you're going to challenge holiness. My Lord. You don't even have your sins washed away. That's right. You don't even have the principles. That's right. Amen. No, you're not holiness. No. You're nothing but a sinner. That's all. When you say full gospel, how you get baptism out of it? That's right. Huh? That's right. When you got full gospel, you walking with Jesus here. That's right. Amen. You bet it's one thing in mind. I am one man who's not intimidated by a mega church in the world. No. I serve a God that cannot be measured. That's right. He's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. Go ahead. Do you hear what the word of God say here? I marvel. I marvel. That you are so soon removed from him. He's so soon removed from him that calls you. Into the grace of Christ. Into the grace of Christ. Unto another gospel. Into another gospel. Which is not another. Which is what? Not another. Not another. Which is not what? Which is not another. It's not another. That's right. Huh? That's right. I want the full gospel to know this. Mm. It's not another. Not another. We're preaching the full gospel now. That's right. It's not another. That's right. Do you hear it? Which is not another. But what? But there be some that trouble but you. But there be some that trouble you. And would prefer the gospel of Christ. But though we. Oh, glory to God. But though we. Though we. Or an angel from heaven. Or an angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel unto you. Preach any other gospel unto you. Then that which we have preached unto you. That one we have preached. Let him be a curse. Let the angel be a curse. As we said before. As I said before, so sad now again. If any man. If who? Any man. If who? Any any man. Paul Martin. Any man. Paul Martin. Any man. Any man. Put up. If any man. Or shut up. That's right. If you had not repented of your sins and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you're not saved. That's right. If you bow your head and raise your hands and claim you accept Christ where you are, mm -hmm. you're not saved. That's right. If you pray the sinner's prayer, you're not saved. That's right. If you join the church, you're not saved. That's right. If you've been sprinkled in a devil's church called the Catholic, you're not saved. That's right. If you're baptized in a title, Father, Son, or Holy Ghost, brother. you're not saved. That's right. If any man... If there's any preachers up here, that's right. Am I right, preacher brother? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. If there's any preachers up here, preacher brother, and you're not baptized, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, preacher brother, you're not a preacher. Not a preacher. If you claim you're apostle, you're not. You're not. If you say you're a bishop, you're not. That's right. If you say you're an elder, you're not. Go ahead, brother. Preach it, brother. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Hoorah! 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 Hey. Oh, okay, brother. Oh, okay, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Jesus said, Go ahead. unless you repent, that's right, you shall all you likewise, shall all likewise perish. Likewise perish. Perish. Peter preached it with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Yes, he did. 
and stood up with the 11. Yes, he did. That means the 11 was backing them. That's right. They was backing them. That's right. Stood together. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. How you a preacher? Go ahead. You ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No you ain't repentant. That's right. You a sinner. That's all. Go ahead, brother. Go Bible says without the shedding of blood, no there's no remission. No remission. Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. That's right. He Go said, ahead. then you shall, hallelujah, you ahead, shall brother. receive ahead, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Why the promise? Hallelujah. 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 to you. It's unto you and to your children. And to your children and to all that is afar off. Even as many. Even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. Every religious organization. Hallelujah. Every so called apostle, prophet, pastor, bishop, evangelist, elder. Hallelujah. If you have not repented of your sins, have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are a sinner. That's right. You are not a preacher. That's right. Oh, Nothing but a sinner. So if there's anybody in the pulpit today, and you ain't repented of your sins, and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you better get it today. Bishop sinner. Go ahead. Eh? That's right. Elder sinner. Go ahead. Apostle sinner. Go ahead. Brother. Evangelist sinner. Go ahead. Pastor sinner. Go ahead. Elder sinner. Go ahead. Repent! Repent! Hallelujah! 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 Holy Ghost says repent! And be baptized! Be baptized! How much? Every one of you! How much? Every one of you! How much? Every one of you! What do the church of God and prophecy got to do? Repent and be baptized! Every one of you! What do the Church of the Living God organization got to do? Repent and be baptized, every one of you! What do the Church of Pillow Ground and Truth got to do? Repent and be baptized, every one of you! What do the Church of God in Christ started by Bishop Mason got to do? Repent and be baptized every one of How? you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, that's what everybody. What the Baptist got to do? Re repent and be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. What do the Christ. Catholic got to do? Repent and be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of you. I don't accept nobody. Every one of you. Go ahead, brother. You can't have a way for salvation. Go ahead, man. In your organization. That's right. And it contradict what God already organized. Already. That's right. There's only one church. Go ahead, man. Jesus said, Go ahead. upon this rock. That's right. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll build, build my church. My church. That rule out everybody else. That's right. That's right. I don't care how great nobody got. No. Go go ahead. I don't care how great nobody bishop is. That's right. If you don't come along what Jesus said, thief. You's a sinner. Sinner. That's he right. said if you come any other way, thief and a robber. You's a thief. That's right. And a robber. And a robber. Are right, you listening? Men and brethren, what shall we do? Men and brethren, what? What shall we do? And what the word said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, you founders of all these organizations. That's right. You better tell them what Peter there told them on the day of Pentecost. Repent. No, join the church. Repent. This is the hour of decision. Repent. Make a move for Christ. Repent. Bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Repent. Where you get all that recycled trash from. That's right. You are a preacher today. Yeah. And you never been back. Well, I've been baptized in Jesus' name. That's wrong. That's wrong. There's That's more right. than one Jesus. That's right. You got Bar Jesus, who the Bible says was a false prophet. Mm -hmm. You got Jesus Justice, who was a fellow laborer of Paul. Right. But the words say, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's it. Pastor Peter used the phrase Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Paul used the term Lord Jesus. Yes. That's, it. That's, That's it. That's it. That's it. That's Not it. baptized Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh -uh. Now, right. you're, now you're adding the word. That's right. That it didn't add. That's right. Not baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all in Jesus' name. Now you're adding. Right. No, 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 right. no. Not just baptized in Jesus' name. Now you're subtracting. That's right. You're subtracting Christ, Christ, or you're subtracting Lord. Right. You got to either say Jesus Christ right. or Lord Jesus. Or Lord Jesus. You got to stay within the confines. Yes. 
If you know anything about architect, a builder always got to use a plumb line That's right. to make sure that building goes straight. That's right. Amos, what do you see? What do you see? I see a plumb line. It's in the midst of the people. That's right. God is building a people upright. God have an upright truth with the instrument of straightness. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters.